Hey guys, welcome to the Solo Analyst, a channel where we dig deep to go beyond the surface story. Today, I'm going to be talking about Prophet Passion Java. Zimbabwe witnessed a surge in self-proclaimed prophets in the years 2009 to 2011. There was a shift from your normal Pentecostal churches to what I would personally term the third generation of Christian churches led by prophets, which I will call the Papa Generation. The Papa generation saw the rise to prominence of popular clerics such as Emmanuel Makandiwa, who had been a pastor in the Apostolic Faith Mission, Hubert Angel, and many others who were spread across the country and beyond. And then there was Java, Panganai Java, more commonly known as Passion Java, a man who oozes exuberance, flaunts his wealth, and has killer tongues to go with. Now, before you bring out your pitchforks and threaten to burn me at the stake and quote the now famous Touch Not My Anointed ones first, this video is my personal opinion. It is born from my observations and analysis of events that have taken place over the last few years. Fun fact, me and Prophet Passion are homeboys. I grew up in Chitungiza and we share the same birthday, but I'm just a million dollars shy of completing the trifecta, but I digress. Today I want to talk about the many sides of the popular prophet, how easily he caused controversy, dare I say intentionally. Passion Java has caused a debate over what exactly should a man of God act like, talk like, or dress like. So for the many sides of Passion, I'm going to highlight the personalities that make Passion Java so much so that it has led to many questioning the authenticity of his calling. Quick disclaimer, I'm not an expert on prophets. Whilst my analysis could be wrong, feel free to form your own personal opinion on the matter. You can comment in the comment section and we can keep the conversation going. The Pastor Prophet Prophet Passion has on several occasions spoken out about how he started the ID number prophecies back in the 2011th, saying it was his signature style way back when. As a prophet and preacher, his resume seems thin. Maybe it's because I don't follow him much, but I haven't seen him do much in terms of preaching and sermons. He does host social media lives where he preaches on various issues about world success, speaking in tongues, spiritual gifts, prophecies, etc, etc. There are a few videos here and there, and while he tries to deliver, Prophet Passion's core message from what I can grasp is growth in the spiritual and growing in the realm of the prophetic. He hosts several programs about gaining wealth through seeding and recently his WhatsApp group, hosted on his golden iPhone by the way, for teaching or imparting the gifts of prophecy and angelic tongues. I remember raising my dismay during one of his streams on Twitter when he said joining his WhatsApp group would cost $1000 US. I guess there is no spiritual gifts for the bro. But this has always been the trend with the new wave of prophets and pastors who basically charge you an arm and a leg to get an audience with them. But hey they're doing the Lord's work. His credentials as a prophet always come under scrutiny a lot of times due to his flamboyance and a recent string of spiritual tongues that were meme worthy. Honestly, I think I've seen a lot less of Prophet Passion as a man of the cloth but more as a music promoter and a flamboy. The music promoter. This is one of the Prophet's more popular sides. Prophet Java is a staunch supporter of the Zim Dancehall movement, personally financing many artists. And so Aisha has seen a lot of favor from the Prophet in recent times, and the Prophet is seen promoting his music and featuring in his highest score video, which courted some controversy. He has established his own recording label, Passion Java Records, and has many Zim Dancehall artists signed to the label. Passion's choice of music has attracted criticism from many circles, who feel a man of his stature should not partake in the genre, given some of the offensive lyrics that come from the music. Gucci Passion Scucci. Prophet Passion is the king of flair. He has taken almost every opportunity to showcase his luxuriance with golden iPhones, 24 karat gold replica notes, Lamborghinis, private jets and helicopters. For most people, this is the passion they know, who flaunts his wealth left, right and center. The Prophet flexes his financial muscle so much that many people often chide him for this, noting that it's unbecoming for a man of God to have such hubris. There are those who allege that the Prophet's wealth comes from his wife, who is reported to come from a wealthy family. Prophet Passion has always come out to debunk the allegations, with his wife doing the same in an interview with Niana Radio stating, and I quote, Yes, I am from a well-up family but not yet at the level of funding the Prophet Passion. Prophet Passion has a deal with Gucci which is reported to be to the tune of $10 million. So who really is Passion Java? I'm not an expert on how a man of the cloth or prophets should behave 
or conduct themselves. Personally, I would prefer to see passion the prophet in his element, preaching and teaching from the Bible more than his worth display extravaganza. Perfect passion is charismatic. He wears his humble beginnings on his sleeves and this is his motivation for amassing so many riches and he says him showcasing all the money, expensive cars and lifestyle is his way of testifying how God has blessed him. But many a time he has toured the line which blurs the image and leaves a lot of questions. Is prophet passion really a prophet or is a showman and all that he does is an act? He comes off as a man who is excessively proud and is never afraid to get into a heated argument as illustrated with many social media scuffles he has had with Zimbabwean socialites, Madam Boss, My TT, among others. Now again, I need to reiterate, this video is in no way a character study of the self-style prophet. His legitimacy is something I can't question. I only question what I see based on what I believe. The questions being, how should a pastor, prophet or apostle behave, act or present themselves? Is a show of wealth how a man of the cloth should behave? How is it these pastors, prophets and apostles amass so much wealth and their followers sometimes struggle to get by? Will we ever figure out who the real passion Java is? No one knows. I guess there will always be more financial flex, golden iPhones and golden dollar bills to go around. The problem becomes does he really connect to the hearts of many with his different layers? There's so much to peel and I think that deserves a separate video on its own. Thank you again for watching my video and supporting my channel. Please leave a like and subscribe and also ring the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about Prophet Parshan Java. Let's get the conversation going. As always, I've been The Analyst and you've been amazing. I'll catch you in the next one.